Hoi hoi, welcome back in the room. It's another one of Gavin's grotty guitars. And what have we got? Well, if you've seen the um, video on the Rastercaster, the very final video I did was looking at other Telecasters I've had. Um, the special one we haven't come to yet, but we will do. And one of the brands that I picked up very early on in my love of messing about with guitars, messing about on the river, messing about with guitars, was Stag, S-T-A-G-G. -G. wasn't this particular model, but I found it to be well put together. If you're waiting for a but or a however, nope. You shouldn't expect too much from a cheap second-hand guitar, especially, you know, and, and if you're not expecting much from a, a cheap guitar, a Telecaster's the way to go, because they're not much to them. It's not a lot of body carving, there's none. There's no expensive pickups, there's two. There's not a lot of wood, because the next flathead stock tuners needn't be good because you haven't got a tremolo. Um, all the cavities are very easy to route. So yeah, it's a cheap guitar. Does that mean it's no good? No, not one bit. Let's tune up. <laughs> As usual, I'm playing through the Fender Deluxe VM. It's a tube amp with digital effects. There's a little bit of reverb. It's quite a bit of reverb. If you're hearing noise outside, it's um, coming up to Halloween. So there's loads of kids wandering around with pumpkins and stuff. Anyway, this is a simple 22 fret maple neck, you know, it's got a skunk stripe at the back, we've got a lovely tobacco tri-burst, yeah. Maple fretboard, two pickups, not a lot to say about it. They come in different versions in different years, um, this one isn't bad, I haven't tried any of the more modern ones. The old, old one that will come up in a few weeks' time has a different headstock shape, but just as well made. Um, I think it's two or three piece body, or even, no, might be a one piece body, or more likely it's got a veneer on it. Um, that's when people make the bodies out of two or three planks and then put a bit of veneer over the top to make it look like it's one piece. Lots of people do it. I don't hold it against them. So, bridge. <laughs> Nothing to write home about there on the tone. I know things get compressed and moved around on YouTube with the sound and the visuals, but it's nothing special. Bridge. So the bridge has been engineered to have that real bite. Neck. 
I probably paid 50, 55 pounds for this. As something to work on when you're wanting to fiddle around with guitars, shape them up, put different pickups in, work out how to use routers, this is your boy. You got a plank of wood. You got a couple of small holes and you can dig as much as you like out of them. Um, I've done it in the past. I made, well, you'll see it coming up. The first guitar I ever highly customised was one of these, which I sanded and shaped down to look like a cross between two of Jeff Beck's very early guitars. Um, put Seymour Duncan's in it. And um, it probably needs a lot of work nowadays to my better understanding and standards. Um, but it's a great knock around guitar, nice light body. Um, the body was thinner than this one. This is, I think we measured it before, was about the, the proper 44, 45 millimeters thick. Um, the neck satin, it's all playable. Um, if you need a guitar to play about with, a Stag Telecaster is a good place to start. Until next time, toodle pip.